Hi everyone, I'm John Michael, one of the writers and moderators of the IGN Entertainment Strategy Guide Wiki for the new SimCity. In this video, I'll show you how to start and maintain a, uh, a city with the drilling specialization and how to maximize your profits by pulling up crude oil. So here we are in a new city in a new region. This is Washtub Fields in the Discovery Delta region. And um, as you can see, I've started the city. Uh, I've built my residential zones here, my commercial zones along the avenue, and my industrial zones down here. Um, not the most efficient start I've ever done, but whatever. Uh, but now it's time to get our income strategy going. We're making 2000 an hour, well, 2500 an hour with uh, 20000 in the treasury. Not a bad start. So, uh, of course, the first thing you'll want to do, um, I've already done this, uh, that's how I decided to position my zones over here, but the first thing you want to do is go into your data views button and select the oil map. It's the bottom button, uh, bottom row, middle button. And in most maps, oil is concentrated into only one or two key spots. You can see here, all of our oil is in this kidney-shaped patch right at the corner or right at the peninsula really of the city site so that's why i've extended the avenue this way and i'm going to do a slightly inefficient design uh, to apply uh, where my oil wells are going like what i'm doing is um, i will well i'll just show you we're going to pick a low density dirt road and I have the road guides off, so we simply draw the line from about here. Make it straight. There we go. So this is a little inefficient because the workers is, are going to have to drive from their residential zones all the way around like this to get to the oil wells, but... That's all right. I sort of want to do this to um, maximize or rather minimize delivery times. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So now that we have our initial dirt road, simply go to the city specialization, then go to the drilling button and try to plop our oil well, which I can't because I don't have enough money. So we're going to take out a quick bond or rather issue a bond. I'll have to issue another one in a second. And we plop that down over the darkest area. Um, let's actually place it here. Because what matters more than the placement of the oil well itself are the oil pump jacks. Every oil well that you place automatically comes with two oil pump jacks. And the costs of running oil is extremely low. As you can see, each pump jack here uh, is only costing me 30 simoleons an hour. And the oil well itself is costing me 150 so it's very, very cheap. Um, I mean, the sign is going to cost me more than that. The sign costs 200 So really, that's all there is to it, um, as far as just placing the oil well and letting it get started once the workers get hired. But before it starts off, that's a nice little sight, the rain on the night sky. Anyway, um, so before the oil well actually hires its people, let's prepare for the oil itself. Um, as with mining and electronics, you can't get anywhere in drilling without the, um, without the trading specialization as well. So we uh, take out another bond real quick. And then we're going to select the trading specialization. And we're going to place a trade depot. I'm going to place it right here at the corner of the avenue. And this way, deliveries are extremely fast. Um, placing your trade depot on the right side of the road from the driver's perspective makes it, easy, makes it easier and more efficient because now the oil well truck will just jump on the dirt road, come over here, take a couple quick right turns, and drop off the goods in the trade depot. But of course, right now, the trade depot doesn't have the right storage lot to hold oil. All it has is the freight storage lot. So to add an oil storage lot, click your trade depot and go into edit mode. Let me put down a sign real quick and then simply select the oil crude oil storage lot and place it wherever you wish. So now we can uh, store 2,000 barrels of crude oil. And to set your Trade Depot to actually export it, click your Trade Depot again, select Edit Global, or 
rather manage global market deliveries button here. There's only one, uh, one good here, our oil. So we've got it selected and we're choosing export. Now remember this price, we're getting 4,500 simoleons for every 1,000 barrels of oil. Uh, try to remember that price because later in the video I'll show you why uh, the refining is so ridiculously awesome in drilling. So really that's all there is to it, honestly. Uh, we've basically got the infrastructure set. The oil well, once it hires people, will dutifully pull up oil, send it to the trade depot, which will dutifully sell it, and all of that money will be reflected in the recent transactions pane of the budget panel once it gets started. Now, you don't want to sit on your hands here, because even though these are, yep, they're already starting to work, um, I'm pulling up 50 barrels a day at the moment, which is okay, but certainly not going to get me that much money. So if you are dead set on specializing in drilling, you want to always monitor your oil well and always, always, always be adding oil, um, oil pump jacks as we go along. They only cost 10000 apiece, and you want to make sure they're as over the dark black area as possible. And the reason I set the oil well here at the edge is because eventually, once we get enough money, I'm going to be setting another oil well next to it, and another one, and another one, and another one. And I want this entire area coated with oil wells so we can pull up as much as we possibly can. Um, oil seems to last a little longer than coal and ore. Uh, I guess, I mean, I guess uh, the colors are a little misrepresented. But when you have a dark spot like this of coal, it doesn't last nearly as long as with oil. So I'm going to go ahead and play the city for a while, and I'm going to pause the recording while I do so. You'll see a rather dramatic uh, expansion as soon as I start up the recording again, but then we'll get into the advanced oil aspects. All right, it's been a while. We have a fairly bustling city now. So you can see we've got tons of buildings. Everything is medium density or bigger. We have five oil wells pumping at capacity and uh, more than that not only do we have our petroleum HQ and our trade HQ but um, sometimes it's a little tough getting uh, shipping enough oil to get the trade HQ or the petroleum HQ rather upgraded even if you have um, enough production and the reason is because every trade depot only pull, only um, has a global delivery and exchange every hour but here's the thing, it, the, uh, the deliveries happen with each trade depot. So as you can see here, we have three trade depots, all of which have one oil storage lot, and it's been good enough to get the amount of money we need. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade the Petroleum HQ. We are going to add the Refining Division module, except I didn't actually plan a road for it. And I don't want to stick it there. Um, let's see. Oh, well, let's take out some commercial zones, whatever. Okay, now with the refining division up, we can finally make tons of cash with an oil refinery. Plop that down right here. And now, um, when you uh, place your oil refinery, there are two things you can build with it. You can, or rather, produce. You can either do refined fuel or plastic. Plastic doesn't have a whole lot of use, and it's not very, um, it's not a very high profitable uh, good. But plastic is important for a lot of the, um, a lot of the great work sites. Plus, plastic is required for some of the upper tier electronics specialization items. So if you have both oil and you're doing electronics, then you may want to produce some plastic. That'll save you some cash on, uh, on the, uh, the cost of producing consumer electronics. But for us, we just want, the, want you know, some cash money. Forget electronics. So we're going to work on fuel. And to do that, we'll just go into it and add the appropriate modules. Now it defaults with a plastic polymerizer, polymerizer uh, factory that converts to plastic oil to plastic, of course. Since I don't want it, we're just going to go ahead and break it. And instead, we're going to add as many fuel distillation units as I can afford, which is only one. Let's take out a loan. 
Got plenty of cash. We're just gonna go what? Whoops, not. There we go. We'll take. We'll issue uh, bonds for two hundred grand. There we go. All right. So now we have four distillation uh, fuel distillation units. So we're going to start adding fuel distillation lots to the trade depots. Pretty basic stuff, but again, you want to do this to each one. That way you can maximize your output, and this way we have plenty that's being transported out. And now, just to show you how much money you can work with, as you can see, if you remember, 1,000 barrels of crude oil is worth 4,500 simoleons, but 1,000 barrels of refined fuel is worth 21,000 simoleons. And even crazier, the way the fuel refineries work, one any amount of crude oil gives you double the amount of fuel. So really what we're looking at here is 1,000 barrels of crude oil may be exported by themselves for 4,500, but we can refine it into 2,000 barrels of refined fuel, which will give us 42,000. It's nearly 10 times the amount of cash for the exact same resource, which is absolutely fantastic. And that is where most of the money will come from. Now, of course, um, as you get up there, you may even want to set your trade depots to use locally. That way you don't export any oil at all, keep it all and refine it. But that really comes down to how fast you're producing fuel, because if you are producing uh, more oil than you can use, you may as well export the rest, because uh, the cities will always prioritize um, their own needs. So even though we have these set to export, we'll be gathering oil in the oil refinery before we export it. As I say that, I'm proven wrong by that truck that just arrived. So, okay, I think I will do that. I'm going to set all of the crude oils to use locally until the refinery starts to catch up. And then I'll simply monitor how much we have. If the trade depots suddenly start having too much crude oil, I'll go ahead and set them back to export. But that's all it takes to earn tons of cash. Now, even though I'm only making 3000 an hour here... It's offset by how much I'm making on exports. You can even see that in the budget panel. Um, you know, I've got 4,500 crude oil shipments. And let's see, just for the day, that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, geez. It's like, it's a lot. It's, it's more than 15. So plenty of cash to be made. And from here on out, I could even use, since this is the first city of the region... I could use it to send money to new cities and help jumpstart their uh, their plans, whatever they happen to be. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, with these tips and tricks, you can get an oil refinery in your own city and start making some cash. Help out your neighbors. Just stay tuned for IGN Entertainment for more tips and tricks on the new SimCity. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.